power in five of the first 10 bat batters were able to get hits off Joe Ryan, then just two followed. What changed in the results against Ryan? Um, well, I mean, I, I think just looking at it kind of holistically, I think tonight was just, I, I thought, a lot better in the approach and the aggressiveness and taking the fight to them. Um, you know, the problem is, we, you know, we weren't able to get an extra base hit. We weren't able, obviously, kept us in the yard, but I thought at bat quality was much better tonight and much improved and but in the end we just couldn't break through with them and, and in the end you add it up and it's only two runs so you know obviously we got to do better than that um but i thought up and down i thought <clears throat> just better intent better aggressiveness with the at bats now we got to finish through and and uh you know get some guys rolling obviously um but you know ryan's ryan's good um, and he was able to kind of settle in a little bit. And uh, we weren't able to quite get to a couple of his heaters, you know, hit a couple balls on the nose for outs. But, um, you know, we got to find a way right now. Not getting those fastballs seemed to be a common theme later on in the game. What, what, was there a common denominator there? Not getting what? Uh, uh, to Ryan's fastballs. Well, I mean, that's that's his M.O. That's, you know, his fastball plays. Um, and when he has, uh, you know, when he has his secondary presence there with whether it's slider or, or the split, um, you know, that, that fastball can play up even more. Um, I thought we had the right approach against the heater, and I thought there were some, some heaters that we were on that, you know, just missed that turned into a fly ball. Um, but, you know, that's, that's who that guy is, is... You know, that's why he's, you know, had success because of that, that heater heater split combination. What did you think of Nestor's performance tonight and what went into the decision to have him start the sixth inning? Um, I thought Nestor threw the ball well. Um, what went into the decision? Um, that, there wasn't really a decision. It was he's got to go. You know, we can't run to the bullpen in the fourth and fifth inning every night in April. You know, we uh, and especially be Nestor being one of our dudes, like we gotta, we gotta get, you know, we gotta get s through some middle innings here. Um, so, it, it, frankly, it wasn't a decision. Aaron, how does the better at bat quality show itself to you when the results aren't necessarily there on the scoreboard? Yeah, um, it showed tonight. Like last night, you know, we were, you know, I felt like dominated in a lot of ways, and you know. And, and tonight I felt like was different. And you could sense that right from Jump Street as we we're you know, able to really hit some balls on the screws there to start Volpe lines out to start the game. Uh, and then we're able to, you know, but still not breaking through with that big one, that, you know, gapper that scores a couple or or hit one in the seats. You know, we've, we've had a hard time hitting the ball out of the ballpark too. But um, I, I, I think, you know, when you kind of back off and strip the emotion like watching tonight, was uh, I felt like a different offensive game, a different at bat quality than than what we saw last night. So in some ways, you know, you try and take a little a little gain in that. But the reality is, we're in a stretch right now where we haven't scored enough runs, and that's got to change. What did you see on the ball with Volpe, and also the play at the wall with Hicks? Yeah, the the Volpe one's almost not impossible but as soon as taylor hit it i went oh no because he he squibbed it and it's taylor running who's going to get down the line so you got to go after it and it's kind of a do or die with with that spin on it it's just a it's kind of a do or die play frankly um and and on the i i just i haven't watched a replay of it but I, I, you know it just the ball got to the wall i mean that's what i saw I feel like the margin for error at this point is kind of yeah. paper thin, just not being able to afford some of those mistakes. Yeah, which mistakes? Or I guess just the mistake pitches or kind of things. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously we've done a lot of one and two runs, and yeah, you got. I mean, that doesn't lend itself for much margin for error on the mound. So, you know, we've got to we got to change it. You know, we got to hopefully um, build a little bit on today and the fact that this was better than yesterday. But, you know, it's still we got to hang some crooked numbers up there, Frank, bottom line.